seconds, you go to level two. And if you hit him again, go to level three. And each one is like a 1% damage increase or something. So, so it's a damage multiplier, yeah, exactly. But you saw he was using Garuda's special, which does a or super move, which does a ton of hits. So he's maxing out the rampage immediately, and that's so why the combo did. Bunch of and that's why the combo did yeah. so much there. And you can see the yeah. new characters that were announced at Evolution 2017, and recently at uh, on in Arika production, if I'm not mistaken, that was Skullamania. You just saw uh, Darun. Yes. And. Also, Alan Snyder. Alan Snyder is the newest character. Yeah, this will be the first time he's really uh, going to appear on stream. They were really the, yeah, fan favorite character here. The devs are worried about Alan. They're like, oh, God, we don't know if we can show him off on stream yet. What if he like glitches out or something? This game is still in development. So, yeah, so here, Hokuto is, or Nemo is using Hokuto with the meter build here. So, Rage. The Rage one is infinite meter. That is what got nerfed. Oh. So, let's see. Yeah, to get Rage, you have to spend, I believe, spend five bars to activate. Yeah, and he's building it too, yeah. man. Fudo, on the other hand, got Overload, Hades, Illusion, got building Illusion. Guard cancel and guard break on deck as well. Yeah, Hades is the, I believe Hades is the super armor. How do you, how do you build Hades? I think it's get hit. I, I forget, I don't have the Gogi list on me here. All I know is the one on the left is really funny. It's really broken too, because once you have super armor, you also have access to the guard break. So normally the only way you can stop a guard break is by interrupting the attack. Mm. But if you have super armor on, <laughs> now you can't interrupt. You can't interrupt and it yes, so it gets really grimy. Yeah, you can see what we were talking about earlier, guys. Like, uh, break. This studio is guard break. Yeah, they're showing off some of the yeah. mechanics now. All right, so yeah, if the guard break hits right there, you get a little stagger. Skull punch? And again, you can see how these games are. Uh, we were talking about it earlier. These, this studio typically emphasizes a good bit of, it's always fun, man. It's always crazy, kind of chaotic. All right, so now, look, Rage is activated. Rage is activated right here for Nemo. So on the top right, this is the nerf. Now I see the, now I see the problem. So he's got infinite bar. But last time, so now if he stops moving, I think it builds back. Yeah, so it builds back. Last time, it just didn't go down. Hmm. That was actually too busted. That was too busted. Fudo exposed it, and so they, they fixed it. So they're hoping we can find some more busted stuff this time that they will balance out. But yeah, so Skullmany should have the super armor now. So let's see. Yeah, see? He's not yeah, flinching. See, yeah, he's not yeah. taking hits there. He's just powering yeah. through him. So that is a launcher move right there. Normally it would work. Uh-oh. He's able to block and then guard crush. Yeah, so he's going to try and cheese him out right now. Low counter. Yes. See? Just mauling. You can't do anything. <laughs> the cheap stuff. So you can beat that, of course, with throw. And I, I think it was running attack. We found another attack that beat the super armor last time. There it is. That should be. No! Yes, he wow. super armored right through. Even look at Nemo. He's a little bit salty up there in the upper corner. He scrubbed. Fuda, he scrubbed. Quit pressing these buttons here. Yeah, so picking Hokuto here. The thing that they said makes Hokuto very scary, she's got a Rekka. And she's the only character that really has built-in mix-ups right there. She can go... The thing is not really going to help you against Super Armor. So yeah, Nemo doesn't seem to really have a strategy. I don't know. What would you do if you just found yourself on stage against an enemy that had Super Armor? What would he do? Nemo's just swinging. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got the meter. He can, yeah, just go for it. He's just swinging. Gets a knockdown. Super armor though. Oh, whip punish. There you go. Cancel it. No, it doesn't hit. He'll take the damage though. So here we go. This is the old school Rolento knife super. It's coming down. Boom. It whiffed though. Oh. It's going to Kudo diving. Yes. Nemo jumping guard break. Nemo's trying his best to snipe him, but oh, gets opened up by guard break. Nemo has got that. So this is why we got Nemo on this on the stage because Nemo has that salty smile. He's very quick to let his emotions get the best of him here. Yeah, definitely yeah. emotional. Right now but we're just we're just doing a little practice game. But once the match starts and they decide, I don't know what would you pick. I, what what seems broken? Super armor is pretty tough, man. Yeah. I, I think I I'd, I'd have to counter pick with character, man. I pick a grappler.
get a grappler and get a uh, get super uh, get super armor back, right? That's what we were. Yeah, that's last time it was infinite meter and it was super armor darn. Those were the two ones that yeah, stood I mean, out very strong. What else can you do? Scoop them out. These guys also, by the way, I forgot to mention, but they're showing off classic mode. There's two input modes in this game. There's progressive and classic. Classic is, of course, you know, Traditional typical. Traditional input yeah. mode for fighting games. What, what's progressive, though? Progressive is a new, uh, simple, it's simple. It has its plus sides and its downsides, though. For example, a traditional fireball motion, if you know fighting games, is down, down forward, forward, and then an attack button. So in progressive, you would just press forward and attack button. And like anti-air is just like diagonal down and attack button. So it's easier inputs for newer players, but the downside is you have to do it from neutral. You cannot buffer. Like you cannot be crouching and then like roll to forward. You have to go back to neutral. So it has to be like intentional. You yes. Have to, they're simplifying the inputs yeah. for you, but you have to be intentionally doing those inputs. You can't yeah. just like get lucky. Yeah, the interesting thing though is that, um, for example, you can do 360s. You can just press up, like up and grab is a 360. So even if you are a pro, it's still, you can sacrifice some control for easier inputs. Nice Kyrie, so cool. All right, so this is Alan. I have not yeah. seen Alan yet. This is the first time he's been playable, yeah. first time we've seen him show up. Force. I can't hear. I wish we could hear the game sound, though. I don't know if I can turn it up from here. Yeah, go ahead. It's just the game sound, though. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, this character originally uh, in the Street Fighter EX series was a hidden character, if I'm not mistaken. He was uh, in the first one, yeah. yeah the very first was, one. He was a hidden character, boss character, but then became a normal playable character. He is one of the alpha weeps. Yeah, he's uh, a <laughs> the young, young Jiuna. <laughs> young Jiuna. Looking like a young Chuck Norris. Yes, he loves Japan. He loves martial arts. Watches a lot of anime on Crunchyroll, I'm sure. <laughs> Fireball. Yeah, you can see crazy nice pose. pose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the other thing about the characters at this studio, man. Their character designs are always really, it's especially now, man. It's it's so tough. I think when you look around, these characters have so much personality. They jump off the screen at you. And again, this is like 15 years they've been missing, yeah. and people are still calling for them. Everyone wants to see. Everyone's asking for Alan. You with Skull of Mania. When they drop Skull of Mania at Evolution, the place erupts. So he just used Overload. The bottom right is the Overload Gogi. That Gogi unlocks. When Overload activates, it all of your other Gogis are activated immediately. So you can make some broken combos with that. Yeah, so he's, all, he's already got it activated in the second round. He's got everything open now. He's all trying to bait something out with that whip jab. Look at his face. <laughs> And yeah. so, something else about Nemo, uh, for those of you guys that don't know fighting games, this his guy has a reputation. Like we, we keep talking about getting the right players to show off this game on the Tokyo Game Show stage. This guy has a reputation for breaking characters and just getting in the labs and just coming up with stuff. He's really original. Triple break. Very adept with picking up new games and new systems. So actually right there, what Fudo just used was Illusion. That's like a burst. There is a burst. He just used it right there to get out of that super combo breaker, essentially. Yeah. You only get one per round, though. And once again, you mentioned Rampage was the damage multiplier, Yeah, correct? so see how this is five right there? So that was at level five, yeah, level Fudo six. on the left side has his uh, multiplayer up. Doesn't matter, because uh, going to... See the timer, though, the red timer above Rampage? Yeah. And it's back to zero. Zero now. You have to keep, even hit or block, you have to stay on top of them to keep... Uh, the longer you're on top of them, the more... Yeah, so it encourages offense yeah. for sure. So again, he used Illusion, got out there. So this super, you see the super busted. armor just busting through him? <laughs> game name. So again, this this game does not have a name. We still, not even trying to be funny. This game does not have an official name yet. At the moment, it is called Arika's Mystery Fighting Game. Uh, will be released on PlayStation 4 in early 2018, but there will be a playable demo or playable beta available for download for free at the end of this year. Whoa, is that, is that a new announcement? No, 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 it's been out. We just don't have the exact details yet, but uh, playable, yes, playable demo at the end of the year on PlayStation. I'm looking forward to it, man. This is going to be fun. Why are you cool? I said it earlier. That's one thing you can always say about games from this studio. The games are always fun. Yeah, I'm really... Also, the Gogi system right now, they haven't... Um, Changed. They're still just using the, the pre-made decks, but 
the thing that Nishitani really wants to do with the Gogi system is being able to pretty much add anything he wants to the game. Giving him freedom at any time. He's like, you know what? We want to put this in the game. So a lot of people were asking for the old school uh, old school Street Fighter EX Excel combos, or XE combos, yeah, right? Sure. Which is kind of like a custom combo. I think iconic for that series, too. Yeah. So they're not in the game right now, but he's like, well, that's the beauty of the Gogi system. It's like, we can have... You just add it. You just add it, yeah. We can add in uh, the XE combos with one Gogi there. Yeah, so these are the pre-built decks, the same as we saw it as Evo as well. Uh -oh. yeah. 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 They're all just they're all just trying to test everything out and then decide what they're gonna go with. Yes, yeah, so you can tell me about the rage one again. <laughs> Which one is it? Oh the rage on the, the left? On Darren. The rage is the infinite meter one. So it used to be your meter just would not go down. So you could just in this game as well, you can super cancel, so you can cancel super move into another one. So they found loops where with Kyrie, for example, he would do air fireball uh, into the dive kick, into the launch and the air fireball. So it was like an infinite block string right there. So to fix that, they changed the rage system now, as you see. You get infinite meter, but you can't use it forever. The bar goes down, and then you have to stop, and yeah, then it comes back. And that mixed with guard cancel with the grappler again. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's got to be a problem. Busted, yeah. A lot of very busted combos you come up with. But again, that's part of the fun, yeah. man. And then the thing, too, is we, we are finding out, too, that there's, like, counters to things as well. Um, I forget what we found out last time, but there are some things that you can counter. Like, uh, one Gogi might be an answer to something else. They're also talking about putting in Gogi that can hurt your opponent's Gogi as well. Anti-Gogi. Yeah, stuff like that. You see uh, Nemo also has Ghost <laughs> yeah, activated. His dashes are become teleports, yeah. essentially. Fudo had some sick mix-up last time. Fudo st or Nemo does not seem to have him yet. Okay. But <laughs> does an unsafe slide into yeah. a super. Is it mix up here? You saw the teleport aspect of that made that difficult to block. Fudo was ready for the group with the command grab, though. Sonic Fox already mad. Yeah, so I, like, I want to play like Sonic Fox play this game. This game, we need creative players, right? This is a game for creative people, creative fighting game fans. What game is this? We need a... We need to get a Mubot to answer this question here. <laughs> this is, again, Arika's new fighting game. It's called Mysterious Fighting Game right now. It does not have a name right now, but uh, I'm sure we'll hear more about that later. But this is, again, a traditional reboot, essentially, of a yes. traditional franchise made by Arika, a small developer in Japan for fighting games. Again, uh, we mentioned it earlier, the original developers of Street Fighter II, that whole staff, a lot of them work for this company yes. now. Nemo's laughing. I think Nemo, <laughs> might have, yeah, I think Nemo might have found a character. We'll see. 